Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. On the last episode, we started way down at that other save block. We had just gone back in time, and that just sounds very odd saying that out loud and meaning it. But then we spent the next couple of areas, like the area right next to the save block, the one above it, and the giant mushroom as tutorial stages on how to move around with the brothers, uh, what exactly is going on here, and how to battle as brothers. Uh, apparently these weird purple alien things are taking over, and they just started attacking this village. We are currently in the village, but everyone seems to be completely gone, and the entire village has been pretty much more or less been destroyed. So we're going to explore a little bit of this village. I mean, there's a building right here that we didn't go into. Mario block? That's Luigi. I'm still not used to the buttons. I need to get used to these buttons. Oh, look, it's almost Christmas. Unless this village celebrates nothing but Christmas. Seeing as how there's perpetual snow here. I mean, there's there's grass right below here. Another building right here. Ten coins. So, one new thing in Mario Luigi Partners in Time from Superstar Saga is that some blocks actually have numbered coins. For example, we just got a ten coin coin right there. So, we don't need to worry about... Let's see. And there's a 20 right there. Oh! Still hit it. Oh, okay. So I just got 20 coins for both of those. Coins! You'll definitely be able to get a lot more than 10,000, which was one more than the limit in Superstar Saga. I mean, I don't even think we ever got close to that coin limit. Did we? Well, let's go down here. This is a different area of the map. But there is nothing of value here. Just something right there, but we can't get across that, because that is too far for Mario and Luigi to jump, so. Nothing down here. Let's head over to that other area, because I know exactly where we need to go, and I want to save that for last. I just realized how short this episode is going to be. Maybe 20 minutes, I'm not sure. It really depends on how certain things play out. No, wait, it's going to be a little longer than I thought. Ten coins right there. Let's head over here to the one last remaining area. Nothing here. Huh. There is nothing here. <laughs> I, I, I thought there would be something there, but my memory must be a little wonky for that area. Unless it's over here. Nope, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. It certainly wasn't what actually happened. Let's go over here. This is where we saw that last spaceship abduct someone. There's a sign right here. Oh, here's the mayor's house. It looks bigger than the other houses. Especially the back. And it certainly looks bigger inside, but there seems to be some muffled voice in here. How did a shroom not see you? Your feet are dangling out, and you're asking anyone for help. I could be a shroom, and you might not even know it. So what we simply need to do is do the exact same thing we've been doing with all the other blocks, and hit him. Jump on, jump up to him. Wrong, wrong brother. Uh-oh. Well, good job, Mayor. You're the one that wanted to be rescued. Okay, so a couple things. First things first, this is the boss music. This is the first time we're actually hearing it, because 
Oh, we didn't hear it when Baby Bowser or Prince Bowser and when he fought the Junior Surboid. Right? I don't remember this. I don't remember this song playing in episode one. So this is the boss music. Three. Uh, three. I completely skipped two. Two. Here's our third boss. And these are the shrooms. Like, these are the generic shrooms that you're going to be seeing throughout the game. We finally know the name of the alien's race that's somehow trying to take over the Mushroom Kingdom. They're all, they're all very difficult, or at least that's what it says, I think, on their stats. Especially at this moment in time, we're only level three. Speaking of three, there's that giant ship on the, on the top screen with the number three above it. And this is where the second screen comes into play. Sometimes the battle will evolve, involve things high up, and that's where the second screen uh, matters. For example, this giant spaceship here represents how many turns left until terrible things happen. So we need to defeat all these guys within three turns. That sounds like it's completely possible. Oh, oh okay. I might have their button. I'm getting the buttons used to, used to again. All right, that's B. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, well, we got rid of one. Can we get rid of both of these guys? No, we can't. It's going to be complete, it's completely impossible. Oh, it's like nails on a chalkboard. Ah, you better get used to that. Princess Peach is cry. Baby Peach. She is ugh, the most annoying thing in this game, probably. Especially her cries. Oh, so, I don't know why we got another tutorial, but we started off the game with these two characters. Anyway, like before, X, X and Y control Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. And we got a little bit of an obstacle course to deal with, the, to get control of their jumping, just like what we did with Mario and Luigi before. So we got a bunch of these areas where they both need to jump, like right here. We can talk with that guy if we so wish, we don't need to. Whoa, lag! Hello, lag. Also, they have their own blocks to get, get as well. Get all these. Give me that. Also, we're in the Koopa Cruiser right now. I like how it's modeled after Prince Bowser's face and not not Bowser's face from Superstar Saga. So how long has he had this thing? Get this. That's only one coin. Oh, get up, get up. Get up. There we go. That should be the last of the obstacles, I think. Yes, yeah, save block right there. We don't need to save it. Thank you. 
Where's the king and queen? Why is Tozworth watching after Princess Peach? Ah, whatever. I don't care. There's probably no king and queen. Princess Peach probably been in control ever since she was born. So now we are in Holly Jolly Village as the, as the younger versions of ourselves. So let's go over to the older version of ourselves who are currently knocked out. And so here is our first battle with both Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. I'm just gonna say, nah, I'll probably say Baby Mario, Baby Luigi. <laughs> I was gonna shorten it to B Mario and B Luigi. That doesn't really change anything. I just take care, I just get rid of one syllable. So now we get to fight the shrubs. Oh, I failed that. Also, oh, I should never I never looked at their stats. I can't press these buttons correct. Oh god. This is going swimmingly. I no. Oh. So here is what replaced the bros points, bros items. So as you see, we have five green shells thanks to Toadsworth. And if you look at the top screen, it shows exactly how it works, which is good because we don't need any more tutorials. So let, let's start. Let's start using this. We're gonna get a small tutorial for this one, or not? We won't. So just simply hit the button when the correct brother comes, or when the shell goes to the correct brother. Oh, I missed it. Might want to get out of the way, Toadsworth. Yeah, there we go. So Green Shell will just continuously hit one person until they're defeated, or until I think it's 13 hits. Oh, there it only took five. That was that was Baby Lar. Okay. I think he just gave us an extra one. Yes, yeah, we're at four now. I'm gonna switch the buttons after this episode so I can. It's muscle memory. Muscle memory is screwing me up. Despite the fact that X is X and Y is Y on this controller, <laughs> just. Muscle memory is getting me. I don't think I can get any lower than three of these green shells. Also, I find it hilarious that Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are gonna beat the Shroobs out of technicality just because they have items and Mario and Luigi don't. Oh, crap. Yes, please. That, that's. I don't. I think that's our. Maybe we can jump. It's not like I got it right. But you notice that they both have the same amount of experience, which is great because then I don't. Have, I don't need to worry about them. They're also level three. I think they're gonna be whatever level you were when you reached Holly Jolly Village. 
I don't know. They've always been three for me because I'm always level three by the time I reach Holly Jolly Village. So they shouldn't level up for a while. para todo trabajo
So here we are in Bowser's castle, and it looks like Bowser and his Koopa Troop, and Toesworth and Baby Peach, not to mention our younger selves, seem to be missing. So I think this is good enough. On the next episode, uh, hold on, let's save it. <laughs> We're getting ahead of ourselves. I'm pressing the baby buttons. Oop, nope. Yes. There we go. So. On the next episode of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, uh, we will be progress, uh, progress, progressing through Bowser's Castle, hopefully finding our younger selves and Toadsworth and Peach, and eh, we don't need to find Bowser, but it might help. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. Oh, he saw me from way over here. I should have known that was going to happen. Well... Fail counter, please start. Just start popping up right now. I know I'm doing terrible right now. Put a fail in because it's slowing down so badly. Watch him jump. Now what? Doors open. Doors open. 